All right, here's a couple of uh, mass percent questions. Uh, first one says, I've got a 103.8 sample of nitric acid, okay? That is 70% uh, HNO3. Oh. So this is my total solution, and this is what the mass percent is. Let me write my mass percent formula down. So mass percent is equal to how much solute you have, divided by uh, the total volume of the solution. Okay, so here they gave me, that would be the total volume, or total mass, I guess. Um, I shouldn't have said volume of solution, total mass of solution. So that would be this number here, the 103.8. And they'd say it's 70%, so that would be that. So what I'm looking for is how much solute, or how much nitric acid there is. So they say I have 103.8 sample of nitric acid. Uh, so I have nitric acid, and part of it is the nitric acid, and part of it is water. And so altogether, that's what that is, okay? And that's what the, the total solution would be. So to solve for the solute, I'm going to take the total um, mass of the solution and multiply it by both sides. So this will be... Multiply by the total, so they cancel, and but I have to multiply this by the total too. So the amount of solute that I have will be equal to the total mass of the solution multiplied by the mass percent. Okay. Oh, I forgot my hundred. My hundred was here uh, in the formula, so the other, on the other side, it'll be on the bottom. Okay. So uh, the total mass is 103.8 grams times 70 divided by 100. Okay, and let's see what that comes out to. Hmm. Okay, uh, let me get my calculator. Because I'm looking at your answer looking like it looks pretty good. So 103.8 times 70 divided by 100. Yeah, I get 72.72. So I get 72.7, and that will be of the solute. So that's HNO3. So what are the other options? That, how many moles it has, how many moles it has. Oh, they're asking how many moles they have. Oh, right, because this number here is how many grams of nitric acid there is. I missed that step. So if this is grams and they're asking for moles, that's a trick question. Um, so if they're asking for grams, then I have to use that other formula. So moles is equal to mass over molar mass. The mass is 72.7 grams of nitric acid. And then the molar mass of nitric acid, I guess i got to figure that out. So there's one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. Hydrogen's 101, nitrogen's 1401. I think it's a one. I guess I have it right here. Yeah. And oxygen is 16. So that'll be 48, 14... And one. Add those up, 62, 63.02, I think, grams per mole. Ah, grams per mole. Okay, so thus is divided by 63.02 grams per mole. The grams cancel. So I take that number that I had here, and I'm going to keep the number in my calculator that was 72.66, and I'll divide that by... 63.02. So this comes out to 1.15296, etc. Um, rounding it to three sig figs, 1.15 moles of nitric acid. It'd be that guy right there. That was a sort of trick question. It looks like you had done it correctly to figure out how many grams of nitric acid there were. It's just that in here, and really in the question, it should have said contains 
how many grams, or they should contain, say, contain how many moles, rather than just sort of listing them here? That's a good question. Let's try this one. Total mass of solution, solvent mass is 125. What's the mass percent? Okay, so mass percent equals uh, solute divided by total times 100. So the solute, the total mass of the solution is 167.9. Oh, so that's on the bottom. Grams. And then they say the solvent mass. But the top's supposed to be solute. Okay, so I know in, in a container, I'd have the solute and I'd have the solvent. Together, they're the total. So all I have to do is take this 167.9 and subtract the 125.2, and that'll give me what the solute is. So when I do that, I'm getting 42.7 grams. So that's how many grams of solute there are times 100. A couple of little tricky, tricky questions were today. 42.7 divided by 167.9 uh, times 100. I'm getting 25.43. 4318. And this would be percent. And then four sig figs, four sig figs. So I can go to four, I think, everywhere. Yeah. So it'd be 25.43%. I'd probably pick that one right there. Okay, I hope that that helps you with the mass percent questions. They're just little trick things that you have to worry about.